What is up? I'm Water Turtle, and today we have another break. Uh, today we're doing an opening for my patron Richard Omega, and today he has a another celebrations box or ETB. And so yeah, these guys come with uh, ten packs as well as some regular Sword and Shield packs. And I think the selection is okay. Maybe they omit the. Uh, I can't remember the Evolving Skies, but obviously that would be the one we want to see the most. But uh, yeah, so far this set has been a real joy to open. Uh, open some stuff off camera. Uh, pulls have been pretty good as far as like pull rate of getting those classic cards. Um, however, I feel like the we're not getting the, the ones that we're really looking for. Haven't got any of the base set uh, reprints yet or the... Um, actually, we did pull one Umbreon, which I was really stoked about. Here is the Greninja Gold Star promo. And nothing else of note in there. Just to double check the pack selection. Alright, so we got four packs. Darkness of Blaze, Vivid Voltage, and then Battle Styles. So, oh, and Chilling Rain. So yeah, no Evolving Skies was a little disappointing. But then we got our ten packs. Alright, Richard Mega, good luck. Uh, hoping we can pull you an Umbreon. And we'll start with these. And where's my scissors? All right, here we go. We're gonna do two at a time, and we'll wrap. We'll do the sword and shield packs last, as I imagine everyone's here to see this celebration pack opening first and foremost. So for our first pack, we got a Lugia, Ho Oh, some birds. Hey, we got good old Professor Oak, and then for our first, ah, just a Kyogre. Let's just take a look at the setting. Ooh, actually, so. This batch of ETBs, actually I'm really happy with the centering. So a lot of good potential. <laughs> now we just gotta get those good pulls. And then I think we got some, uh, you know, real good candidates to be sent to PSA. All right, pack number two, we got Yveltal, a Palkia, another Professor Oak, and then a, another Lugia. So no classic cards yet. I'm really happy with how they did this set, you know, like sometimes when they just do a straight reprint, uh, it's good and bad, or you know, there's pros and cons, but just that little addition of texturizing the card makes a big difference for myself. So I'm never a huge fan of Lily and then the Cosmog line. I feel like I definitely could have done without the Cosmog. That definitely like are the pulls, like, eh. You know, even the commons, there's a lot of cool stuff. All right, Cosmog into a Groudon. So first three, no classic cards. Come on, where's those classic cards? We got another Lugia. Oh, there's that Cosmog again. Ooh, we got the full art Pikachu, homage to base sets. And all right, so we did get a classic card, Rockets Admin. Definitely like the trainer and supporter ones are like, all right, cool, we'll take it. But um, yeah, where's those nice Pokemon ones? And once again, centering pretty good. Once we do start um, hitting these classic ones, I um, can't imagine this one's too high on the priority list for grading, but that one does look pretty good. All right, third batch. So we're on to packs number five and six. Huge shout out to all the patrons that do support me. And once again, Richard Omega, thank you for sponsoring this opening. Oak again, Xerneas. Oh, I saw red. <laughs> Whenever you see red, it's like, oh, maybe. Maybe, well, we just got a Ho-Oh. All right, so far, only one classic card so far. Kyogre. I do like these, oh, Reshiram. I feel like a lot of times we get Reshiram, and then what is it, the um, uh, Zekrom or something? Facing the, uh, just a Yveltal into that Pikachu yet again. We got two more sets of two. But yeah, hope everyone is having some good luck finding product. Um, it does seem like, at least around me, Targets did have some, but obviously they went pretty quick. And hey, there we go, a Reshiram. Very nice, and this one's definitely really decked out. You, the whole card is textured, which is nice, with a Zacian as well. All right, let's see some good centering. Uh, top to bottom, you know, definitely um, not perfect. 
We'll put it in a penny sleeve. Um, I would say I would lead more towards nine than 10, but definitely some potential there. All right, so glad we got another classic card and I do consider that one a hit. You know, over the, like the admin, definitely um, not so much. Reshi Ram into Lugia, into a Groudon, Sogaleo. All right, last two. But yeah, it seems like on eBay, these things are hovering around like maybe that 80, 70, 75 to $80 mark. Uh, so definitely still pretty pricey. All right, Cosmo, Cosmog, here comes Team Rocket. All right, so we got out of nine packs, so about one to three for getting those classic cards, uh, but two of them being trainers. This definitely leaves a, quite a bit to be desired. Centering is not perfect on this one. This card, I feel like it's been reprinted a lot. All right, last one, come on. Show me a, all right, Umbreon or base set starter. Uh, haven't opened a ton off camera, but haven't hit any of those yet. Oh no, I hit the Umbreon. None of the base set starters though. All right, Zacian number like three. Groudon into Zekrom. Come on. Oh, I was hoping it was a Blastoise. A Palkia for the last pack. So three classic cards. We got the Gold Star, obviously. And now let's just move on to these Sword and Shield packs. We'll go Battle Styles, Darkness, Ablaze to Chilling Rain with Vivid Voltage to wrap it up. All right, we'll just go right through the middle. We got it. Pachirisu into a Entei. Very cool looking Entei. I don't think there's any uncommons of notes. All right, Dark is ablaze. Oh, it's been quite a while since we opened this set. Uh, from the side, looks like we might have something. All right, Starly, Aeron, Cubchu, a Turbo Patch, not bad. Into an Ampharos, so nothing there. One more Dark as a Blaze. All right, a Vibrava into a Del Caddy. So as always, these um, you know these random packs, anything can happen. Chilling Rain, a lot of good stuff in here. Definitely the card I want to see the most would be that Gold Snorlax. All right, got Drizzle, the 3D Drizzle to a Volcarona, so these definitely are not delivering. Last pack, all right, Richard Omega did pull a Chunky Chew and one, I think it was the Sword and Shield Premium Collection, the one with the like gold Zacian Zamazenta boxes, and he did manage to snag the ultimate chase out of this set. Let's see if he can't repeat. All right, Trumbeak. Ah, just a Zero Aura for that pack. But all right, so to recap, we got a pretty good rate, you know, what, slightly um, less than one of every three packs, getting a classic card. And definitely probably the pull of this opening would be this beautiful Reshi Ram. Uh, I think I pulled one of these. I don't remember what the other kind of like similar art was. I think it was a Zekrom or something, but haven't had seen that one yet. I feel like the pull I see the most is, uh, that I don't mind would be like, Dark Gyarados, but I'm like, all right, I'm happy with the Dark Gyarados, but start showing me some of these other, either so many of the classic cards that I haven't seen at all yet. Uh, so like the, um, you know, distribution doesn't seem even at all. Actually, I feel like getting so many of the trainers, which is a little disappointing. But uh, Richard Omega, thank you for sponsoring this opening. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe to support the channel. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.